As you can see, there's a number four there. It says LDPE, because today we'll be learning about low density polyethylene. Low density polyethylene is the oldest type of plastic, first synthesized in 1933. Now, when you hear low density polyethylene, you might think to yourself, hey, there's a high density polyethylene. And you are correct, that's HDPE, number two plastic. But number four, LDPE, does have slightly different principles and characteristics, which of course makes it a different type of plastic. Most plastic bags like this that you get from the grocery store are gonna be HDPE, high density polyethylene. And little bags that are usually clear are gonna be LDPE. That's generally how you can tell the difference. LDPE is a lot softer and, and more flexible than HDPE, and it also has a lower melting point. LDPE is mainly used for coatings, films, and things like bags and packaging. You can also find it in bubble wrap, again, forms of packaging, as well as bread bags and frozen food bags. LDPE is recycled at a way lower rate than HDPE. HDPE is usually coming in forms like milk crates, where it's a more rigid, and it's easier to recycle. Oftentimes, cities or entire countries won't really recycle. LDPE. So even though it has that little recycling looking symbol on the packaging, doesn't necessarily mean all cities take it. In fact, this little symbol here is not the recycling symbol at all. It is simply just a categorization symbol. So you know what type of plastic it is. You'll be able to know if you can put yours in the recycling if it is stated on your blue bin or, or yellow recycling bag. You should look out for words like clear plastic bags or uh, bubble wrap here to let you know that you can recycle LDPE in your area.